Imagine a cosmic titan, a star born with a mass at least 20 times that of our own sun. For millions of years it burns brilliantly, fusing elements in its core in a fierce battle against the relentless pull of its own gravity. But this fiery struggle cannot last forever. When the star finally exhausts its nuclear fuel, the outward pressure that sustained it vanishes in an instant. With nothing to hold it back, gravity wins its cosmic war, and the star's core collapses catastrophically in upon itself at nearly a quarter the speed of light. This implosion triggers a shockwave of unimaginable power, a supernova explosion that blasts the star's outer layers into the void, briefly outshining its entire galaxy. Yet, the true marvel is what remains. If the collapsing core is more than about three times the mass of the Sun, no known force in the universe can stop its descent into infinite density. It crushes itself into a dimensionless point, a singularity, warping the very fabric of space and time around it so severely that a boundary forms, the event horizon, a point of no return from which not even light can escape. This is the birth of a stellar mass black hole, a gravitational phantom left behind by a star's spectacular death. But scientists are puzzled by the supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies, which weigh billions of times more than our sun. Their origin is a mystery. They may have formed from the direct collapse of giant gas clouds in the early universe, or from smaller black holes merging together over time. We can't see them, but we know they're there by watching stars orbit wildly around them and by detecting the intense light from the hot material they're consuming.